In other news, a Washington state man will spend the next six years in federal prison for his actions over three years ago on January 6th of 2021. Last fall, Mark Brew was found guilty of seven counts, including obstruction of an official proceeding and civil disorder. And this month, a federal judge gave him that six year sentence, three years of supervised release and around 10 grand total in fines and restitution. The 44 year old marched to the U.S. Capitol with a group of proud boys confronting police and eventually going inside the building. Photos show him inside, eventually making his way into the Senate chamber. He spent about 13 minutes inside the Capitol. Prosecutors say six weeks later, Bruce sent an encrypted message to another proud boy detailing plans to conduct an armed insurrection against the government in Oregon, modeled after the Capitol riot. Since his arrest back in March of 2021, Brew has had all kinds of run-ins with the law. While he was on pretrial release, he was arrested twice for DUI, once in Idaho, again in Montana, and he didn't show up in court for either of those, and they are still pending cases. Then on June of 2023, Brew did not show up for a pretrial conference related to his January 6th case. Two days after that, he was supposed to happen he posted screenshots on a social media of a conversation that he had with someone regarding his failure to appear. He wrote, nice, I certified mailed my motion to the prosecutor. I'm done entertaining their bull beep. By the way, that's our asterisk added in there. If they want me, they'll come get me. I'm drawing an F and line in the sand. Well, doesn't take a rocket scientist to get, guess what happened next? He failed to show up to court again a few days later and a warrant was issued and he was taken into custody in Montana three weeks later. Once in front of the judge for sentencing, Brew showed no remorse, telling the judge, you could give me a hundred years and I would still do it all over again. And arrests for riot at the U.S. Capitol are still happening here locally, including a Milwaukee man taken into custody just this last Tuesday. Willamette Week uncovered the federal court documents that explain this latest case. The feds say this man in the gas mask is 27-year-old Andy Stephen Olivia Lopez. He's charged with multiple federal felonies, including assaulting a Maryland police officer. According to the federal affidavit, phone records show that he was in D.C. on the days leading up to the January 6, 2021 issues. The bank records uh, show a bunch of purchases along Interstate 80 just before all of that happened, suggesting a cross-country trip. Bank statements also show that he bought two canisters of bear spray at a Portland sporting goods store just over two weeks before January 6th. Investigators also say he's likely using bear spray in this photo, allegedly against police officers trying to protect the Capitol.